So today we are out in Montrose. Uh, my first time going out in, on the Montrose trails this year. Looking forward to it. Uh, we've got some people in town who are here for the Best of the West event. Um, this event was organized by Mike Lopez from Warfab. So it's pretty cool to see a bunch of people come to town and hit some trails. I'm with a small group of buggies. We're going to go hit Death Row, then hopefully go hit Die Trying. So just heading out to the trail on Rim Road. Rim Road is incredibly bumpy for those who have been here. It's just like this super bumpy broken rock road. So anyway, we're heading, heading to the trail now. from the main parking lot to where all the rock crawling trails start then you start going up topless the trail called topless and death road takes off right off to the side of topless and here's the start of it it's a fun short trail the whole thing probably isn't more than a quarter mile long um, but it, it's a good one it's probably the second hardest trail in the Montrose complex this is the first obstacle on this trail and basically what I'm doing is putting my tire up over this rock so that my rear axle follows the same line as well. What this does is ensures that my rear differential misses this rock that sticks up right in the middle. Up near the end of the rock, there's kind of a hole that's dug out now, and I didn't realize it was quite that big, so I dropped into it too early. In hindsight, I should have just stayed up on that rock further and drove right over the top. So I kind of had to wiggle around and get back out of this hole so I could drive out of it. Putting my obstacle mirrors to the test on another trail and they work as designed. The rock just pushes the mirror right in, no harm done. This is Alex, who drove all the way out to Montrose from California for the Best of the West event. Alex is in a Fabin 801 Rock Lizard chassis. These are really cool chassis that are really capable. This buggy makes quick work through the rocks. This is Cade and his Forerunner buggy, and this thing just works well. Every trail he goes on, just makes it look easy. This is Roy in his samurai buggy, and this buggy looks familiar to me because it used to be another one of my friends. This buggy always works really well, and 
it's a lot of fun to see on the trail. Roy's doing a great job in it and he's a really smooth driver. Halfway up death row, there's another section that sometimes can be one of the harder sections of the trail. And basically there's a right line and a left line. The left line kind of drops down through a hole and then back up out of it. And the right line requires kind of putting your right passenger tire up on this rock while trying to squeeze by another rock and not fall into the left line's hole. Roy does a good job working through this. Alex opts to take the same line as Roy and it works out well for him. That looks perfect. There you go. I haven't done that one. I've seen Caleb. <laughs> yeah. That's just it. He The next section of this trail has kind of a series of boulders from left to right and multiple lines all the way through it. I like to take the far right line and kind of work my way through the rocks. However, Kate opts for a left line. That left line's getting pretty burly. It's got kind of a big V-notch hole and Cade works his way through it. He does a great job of trying to kind of balance the buggy so it doesn't fall into the hole. And what's tricky about this is I usually see rear steer cars do it because once you get to the top of that hole, uh, making sure that the back axle doesn't fall back into that hole. He gets his rear diff kind of stuck on this rock. However, he's able to maneuver back off of it by just kind of staying in the throttle and working the steering. I usually opt for the right line up through this section. 
And what I do is I kind of get off to the side and then put it in the front dig so I can kind of drop into the hole at the spot that's least tippy. And then I know that it's not tippy once I see my driver's side tire kind of hit the bottom of the hole and that it's stable and it's not going to tip over any further. Alex opts for a similar line as that I took, however he kind of slides off to the rock, but that buggy uh, stays driver. very stable and is able to drive okay. right you're, through it. You're fine. fine. Now try and drive the regular line. This is the section I usually refer to as the exit. And this spot doesn't look like much as we kind of work our way through it. However, I've seen a whole lot of rigs upside down right here. And the key to this one is putting your passenger side rear tire on that rock on the bottom on the right. If you don't and stay to the left, it gets very steep and things get really weird for people. And when they try to back out of it, basically their back passenger tire gets stuck into a hole and things get tippy really quick. However, if you stay on the right line, you crawl up right through there. Alex stays a little bit farther to the passenger side than we went, however it works out well for him. As you get to the very top of the trail, there's basically a series of ledges as you're working your way out. So this is kind of an optional line right at the top, but I always thought this is a fun one. So this one I kind of exaggerated how far I needed to get my tire up on the wall and was just kind of playing around. But it was kind of fun just to put my tire up on the wall which spun me around and put me in a good line to crawl up out of it. stuck out in these trails in the rain before um, it's not too much of a mess but definitely uh, makes it interesting so the weather came in and it uh, turned from a nice nice day to kind of rain and almost sleet up at the top. I was getting pelted by sleet and stuff. Um, we're still out on the trails. And I'm at the top of Topless. And we're just going to shoot down that rather than drive back through the road where the wind and the rain and everything are hitting us. So uh, that's kind of the plan. Uh, 
but at least we got some good wheeling in before the day change. All this mud and dirt are flying up all over me. What a mess. But at least I got the heater back here. Got that thing cranked. Try and keep me warm. Oh man, this is miserable. It is freezing. There's mud flying in my face. 